Time for a tall tale short. Detective Shades, known for his ever-present sunglasses, was unruffled in the face of any case. But today, an anonymous tip in the form of a cream-colored envelope hidden under his cafe plate introduced a uniquely perplexing twist. Inside was a warning of an audacious crime. The town's prized golden fork was to be swiped at the upcoming food festival. The surprising source of this tip? The local alley cat, Mystery Whiskers, notorious for his troublesome tricks. But why would a cat intervene in theft? Staring at the signature, Detective Shades chuckled. Mr. Mystery Tuna Lover Whiskers, you say? Quite that jester, aren't we? He still remembered the hilarious day when he found the cat's unbridled love for tuna sandwiches. The cat had always hated when Shades included his embarrassing, tuna-obsessed middle name. With a sigh, Shades decided to seek out the feline, venturing to the town's most frequented fish market. He spotted Mystery, lazily stretching under the sun. As he approached, Mystery eyed him and flicked his tail nonchalantly. Helping with the case, huh, tuna lover? Shades asked. The cat simply purred, unrolling a piece of yarn that led straight to a suspiciously new-looking can of tuna. Over the following days, the detective found himself roped into an unlikely partnership. Mystery, with a surprising knack for finding clues, guided him to potential hideouts and even served as a peculiar yet efficient lie detector during suspect interviews. Their stakeouts turned into lively affairs, with Mystery keeping Shade's company during the long nights. Even with their hard work to crack the case, they had made little progress. Who was this mysterious criminal? And why did they want the town's prized fork? The festival day dawned bright, carrying both excitement and suspense. The golden fork, a symbol of culinary excellence, glittered under the town square's lights. Amidst the joyous crowd, one face stood out. Gordon Gargantuan Garlic Gristle, a notorious chef infamous for his bold, often borderline outrageous use of unusual ingredients. Last year, he had been disqualified for his triple garlic, banana cream meatballs after their scent alone had caused an elderly woman to faint. The sight of Gristle heading straight for the Golden Fork made Shade's heart skip a beat. It must be Gristle looking for revenge for those gross meatballs, Shades exclaimed as he and Mystery jumped into action. The crowd was too dense, however, and despite their attempts, they watched from the middle of the crowd as Gristle managed to snatch the trophy and disappeared into the sea of people. Feeling defeated, Shades and Mystery sought solace in a bite to eat at their usual diner. Food always helped them think better. Poking at the plate with his fork, Shades was deep in thought. Then he smelled it. The plate of spaghetti in front of him was seasoned with way too much garlic. The old garlic mill, he exclaimed. Feeling a new surge of determination, Shades and Mystery bolted from the diner, the scent of garlic practically leading them to the old mill on the outskirts of town. A relic of the past, the mill had long been out of use and had become an aromatic monument to its garlic-crushing days. It was a perfect hideout for someone with a taste for the unusual, like Chef Gristle. As they approached the creaking old building, Shades felt a pang of nervous excitement. He could see faint light leaking from a window on the second floor. Drawing a deep breath, he prepared himself for the confrontation. Mystery, on the other hand, seemed utterly calm, his eyes reflecting the cool moonlight. They stealthily crept into the mill, the strong scent of garlic assaulting their senses. Climbing the squeaky stairs, they found themselves in front of a rickety wooden door. With a swift motion, Shades kicked the door open. There, at a makeshift table under a bare light bulb, sat Gristle, the golden fork shining ominously in his hand. He was red-faced, eating raw garlic dipped in a strawberry jam, but Shades and Mystery had no time to think about Gristle's disgusting diet. Caught red-handed, Gristle tried to make a run for it, but Mystery was faster. With a swift pounce, he knocked over a bag of garlic, sending the pungent bulbs rolling across the floor. Gristle tripped and the golden fork flew through the air, landing safely in Shade's hands. With the golden fork secured and Gristle cornered, Shade slipped handcuffs around his gigantic wrists. The thief was caught, and they were able to reinstate the town's peace. The triumphant return of the golden fork to the festival was met with cheers and relief, 
with shades and mystery receiving the town's heartfelt gratitude. As they walked away from the festival, Detective Shades turned to his unlikely partner. You did good, Whiskers. Mr. Mystery Tuna Lover Whiskers. Mystery just rolled his eyes and let out a soft purr. This was a tall tale short, small but mighty stories, released daily in audio format. Create, read, and share more tales at talltale.com.